This is Koihao Church, where the past intertwines with the present. The first Christian church built on Oahu, and a well-respected mother church of the state of Hawaii. Royalty like Princess Pauahi Bishop and Queen Lili Okalani worshiped in this very sanctuary, and members of its congregation have played major roles in the history of Hawaii, having established its unique and influential presence with the outside world. Just over 200 years ago, Koihawa Church was founded in the hopes of building a Christian nation. Built from coral rocks mined along the shores of Oahu, these walls tell a story of two cultures coming together, the Hawaiians and the Christian missionaries from New England. This cultural union has its roots originating from a prophecy told by a Hawaiian priest who had once predicted the coming of the one great God. As the 200th year bicentennial approaches in 2020, we're reminded of how the nation of Hawaii had once had the highest literacy rate in the world through efforts of the spiritual relationship, which led to the translation of the Holy Bible from English to Hawaiian, and the full translated Kabai Bala Hemolele, just released in 2018. Education was important to our founding members of Kauai Hau Church. Kauai Hau was, was, gen, was basically the state church uh, for the first three monarchs. Uh, uh, state functions were done here, um, the investiture of new mo'i or new monarchs, uh, those types of events were all held here at Kauai Hau. Generally, the, the story of the mission in Hawaii, or Christianity in Hawaii, um, has been one of this teleologic march from the arrival of the missionaries to the overthrow of the Queen in 1893. And it's just simply not true. When you go back and read the actual records from Hawaiians around the bayonet constitution in 87, around the overthrow in 93, what you see is the exact opposite. You see Hawaiians using Christianity and using the church as their center place for their fight against annexation for their nation and for independence. And every time they write, they finish with a Bible verse. They're calling on God and saying, we are Christian, the sons and grandsons of the mission have become apostates. We need to understand the true history. Uh, and the history of Kavaiho Church lays out the history of Hawaii. But for Hawaiians, it wasn't an, an issue of brown versus white. It was an issue of God and country. And they stood you know, steadfast to those things. That story needs to be told more. Another aspect that was a large part of the church's history was how the Ali'i, or Hawaiian royalty, along with early missionaries, had been instrumental in creating the Na Himene Hawaii, Hawaiian Christian hymns, which spawned generations of Hawaiian music we hear today. So, Hiram Bingham was our first kahu, and what he brought with him, uh, along with the Word of God, he also brought himeni, or hymns, which were then translated into the Hawaiian language. And then he developed the system called solfage, which is the do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And so everyone in the congregation began to learn how to read music. Through a collaborative effort between the Ali'is and missionaries, a merging of two cultures occurred with the written language and music. The Hawaiian chiefs became proponents for education and edicts were enacted by the king as well as the council of chiefs to stimulate the people to reading and writing. A printing press was set up on January 7, 1822. With the first printed material, this legendary rise in literacy climbed from a near-zero literacy rate in 1820 to 95% in 12 years. The first hymnal, Na Himeni Hawaii, contained 47 hymns and has become a foundation for church worship for nearly 200 years. These religious publications, including the Holy Bible from the Mission Print Shop, became an integral part of the educational process of the people of the islands. Having an impact on the family life of much of the multi-ethnic population. You find generations of families coming here because they worship and they develop this deep sense of ohana, have passed on to their uh, siblings, to their descendants, the sense of belonging that this church does because it is a church for the people of Hawaii.
With the upcoming 200th bicentennial anniversary, we have a unique opportunity to tell the true history of Hawaii. Come join us in the historical and spiritual celebration of our land, our people, our history. Oh, oh, my.